हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ श्रीमती पीपी पाटिल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी न्यू चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स प्लांट वाटर रिलेशन ऑल ऑफ यू नो इन दिस चैप्टर सम टॉपिक्स आर डिलीटेड टॉपिक नंबर सिक्स पॉइंट फोर एब्सॉर्प्शन ऑफ वाटर by roots from soil topic number 6.5 water potential topic number 6.6 plasmolysis topic number 6.7 path of water across the root topic number 6.8 mechanism of absorption of water topic number 6.9 translocation of water topic number 6.10 transport of mineral ions topic number 6.11 transport of food topic number 6.12 transpiration topic number 6.13 structure of stomatal apparatus all these topics are deleted from this chapter now we are going to study plant water relation in 11th class all of you studied morphology of flowering plants in this chapter you studied various parts of plant body morphologically plant shows vegetative structures like root stem leaf and reproductive structures such as flowers fruits and seeds all of you studied functions of various parts of plant body tell me the functions of root okay roots carry out several functions like first fixation and anchorage of plant body in the soil second absorption of water and minerals from soil and conduction of absorbed materials up to the stem xylem and phloem are complex tissues present in plants these are conducting tissues and are organized into vascular bundles the main functions of xylem is conduction of water and minerals from root to the stem leaves and floral parts and main function of phloem is conduction of food materials from leaves to the storage organs in downward direction and then to growing regions in the upward direction now secondly water water is necessary for photosynthetic process water is considered as elixir of life main constituents of plant cell and tissues about 90 to 95 percent is water it helps the cells to maintain turgidity and shape there are number of properties of water first it is in the liquid form at room temperature second it is a base solvent 
for most of the solutes third it is based aqueous medium for all biological reactions occurring in the cells it is essential raw material for photosynthesis it acts as thermal buffer because water has high specific heat high heat of vaporization and high heat of fusion these various properties are due to the hydrogen bonding between the water molecules water molecules have good adhesive and cohesive forces of attraction uh, what is mean by cohesive and adhesive forces a strong force of attraction between water molecules is called cohesive force while a strong force of attraction between water molecules and dignified wall of lumen of xylem vessel is called adhesive force uh, due to cohesive combined cohesive and adhesive forces a continuous water column is developed in the xylem from root up to the tip of the topmost leaf in the plant secondly water absorbing organ water absorbing organ it is root root is descending part of plant body which is positively geotropic hydrotropic but negatively phototropic and aerotropic roots are generally non green cylindrical and without nodes and internodes in terrestrial plants in terrestrial plant plants absorb water in the form of liquid from the soil however epiphytic plants for example epiphytic plant orchids absorb water vapors from air with the help of epiphytic roots epiphytic roots having special tissue called velamen a typical root possesses a uh, different regions look at this diagram a uh, maturation zone root hair zone zone of elongation meristematic region root cap region of cell maturation or differentiation is major portion of root the cells shows differentiation and form different types of tissue this region helps in fixation of plant and conduction of absorbed substance second root hair or absorption region this region is made up of numerous hair like structure hair like outgrowths called root hair the epiblema cell epiblema cell layer produces tubular elongated structure 
unicellular structure known as root hair most of the water absorption takes place through this region In third one zone of elongation it repre- it is present just above meristematic zone and the cells produced by meristem elongate rapidly and start differentiation the cells of this zone help in absorption of water and minerals from the soil meristematic zone or meristematic region it represents growing point made up of actively dividing meristematic cells this region adds new cells and is re- responsible for longitudinal growth of root and lastly root cap the delicate meristematic cells of the root apex are protected by root cap cells of root cap secrete mucilage for lubricating passage of root through the soil cells of root cap shows presence of starch granules which helps in gravity gravity perceptions and geotropic movement of root usually single root cap is present in plants but multiple root caps are present in plants like pandanus in hydrophytes root caps are replaced by root pockets for example in plant ecornia in this way we studied structure of root different regions of root and then structure of root hair we studied in we will study in next topic okay thanks